broken. More parts, more architect souls. 25% more now. 25% more now, which means we can go ahead and build ourselves the next building. Which I think is going to be the arena. We need a skeleton. Can I not even make a skeleton now because my team is full? Huh. Who's getting sacrificed? It's one of you. <laughs> I like the Blood Phantasm, but I've never been able to make them do anything. Mutant Claw increases damage dealt to elite enemies by 20%. What? After winning the battle, gain a non-consumable artifact? Oh, we have to pick. No, we get them all. Oh, awesome. Well, I think... And you've given me space to make a skeleton. Alright, skelly boy. Come here. I really like this team. Expecting cannon fodder, like that? Something like but that? I will give them cannons instead. Ooh, that's not a clever line there, friend. Um, skeleton. Did I make a zombie? What's good? You do get a goofy looking mofo. <laughs> Could you please explain what this game is? I was told my friend to get this, so I thought I'd come watch someone play first. Do you know Darkest Dungeon at all? That's that's the first question to ask. I, I made a I made a zombie by accident. And now I have two zombies. What can I do with another zombie? What can I do with the zombie? You do. So it's kind of Darkest Dungeon in reverse. We are the bad guys trying to ascend after being awoken from our slumber, from our imprisonment, more like. Um, we have our team. We have a team here, as you can see, of all different minions. And uh, you travel through a dungeon, experiencing events, things, gain experience, get into fights, sacrificial altar, cultists, elite squads, ancient coffins, whatever they have you. And uh, you gain experience, you level up. As you get into fights, you can equip your guys with stuff, you can equip yourself with stuff. Aratus himself gets new abilities, all the minions gain new abilities. So it's like that, right? Um, basically, Darkest Dungeon flipped on its head as like a concept. The gameplay is somewhat similar as well. And it's, but it's great. Honestly, like, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't like saying, oh, it's like Dark, Darkest Dungeon, but in reverse. Because, like, it's actually really good. Like, the... Maybe they took the idea and was like, we could do Darkest Dungeon, but we were the bad guy. And you have to fight the good guys. Four, four at a time, turn-based combat. Correct. Um, I'm very, I'm overstocked here. And I can't make a skeleton because <laughs> I made a fucking zombie by accident. All right. Thank you, Seta Fortesi. Um, looks like we're just going to have you go to work. We don't have enough. Can I do anything with the zombie? Um, it's a shame to use her there. I can't do... And get, mm, can I consume him? Parts, brains, and everything. Sata. Seta? Seta? Seta. Right. I know how to read. I know how to read, folks. <laughs> half of my job is reading with the games that I play. Or half of my job. Half of this particular instance. Two nodes, there is a sacrificial altar. Okay. Seta. I'm not going to dismiss him. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. It was a bit dumb of me. We can use him eventually to get more experience, which is fine. Um, I quite liked this team. It worked... It worked fantastically well, I have to say. Fantastically well. So like this this right now feels to me like it's one it's one of our two teams. One of our four teams. Um this is straight up insanity team, right? Where we we are just going to drive people crazy and have them die from heart attacks. You did level up. Crit 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 crit. Crit. 
The evasion is also pretty good on there. We'll go with the crit. And what do you know? Now, I say that. Stress attack interrupt stances. The target can't move for two rounds or ignores ward. I think we got to ignore the ward. The same concept. The same concept as to why we gave our shade this. When we want to interrupt stances, we want to interrupt stances and we do not want ward to block it. We don't want it. We will die. Enemies will come that go into stances and they have ward by design in order to make them more difficult. And we can just circumvent that. So we're going to do that. Next team. We're going to go with a we're going to go with the physical team here. It's going to be you. You're going to be bouncing around all over the place, okay? That's fine. We're going to have the unfrozen and what? I have a skeleton in here. I can't actually take him out. Does anyone need to heal? Not really. Looks like you're just going to hang out in the mortuary a little bit longer there, skeleton. Unfrozen. Zombie in the back. More powder. And just bombardment, though. Like, you're meant for the front. And I just don't like them. The damp here, but the damp here is also a frontliner. Well, I say that. You two have a fair bit of mobility. Do we have ways to deal with stances? You do. Don't you? Interrupt stances only from the front. Is that all? You have a movement ability. Call Winter from the back. And targets receive 30% more damage. And you can heal people. And you can heal. And you can heal. And you can heal. I think we got it. Let's try it out. Team 2. Let's go. So far, no losses. That's very nice. Okay. You're an elite miner. What makes you scary? I'm not sure. We got a mad mage. He is uh, always pretty scary. The taskmaster can make people scary as well. I think the mage is probably the first one that we want to go down here. Um, I do think, however, first off... Let's make the vampire... Compelling mark? No. Let's just go for the attacks. On the elite first? I think on the elite first. Can you attack this guy? You can. Go after him, please. You're in the back? That's fine. Yeah, I suspected that you were going to get tasked. Bonus accuracy, bonus damage. You blocked and you missed. You missed and you blocked. That's how we do. They are the inverse, right? The fallen damp here and, uh, Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, you do have the buff. We don't have any way to remove a buff. I just want to kill you, I think. Honestly, I think I just straight up want to kill you. So we're just going to go normal damage. The crit is very high on this one, which is nice. Can't hit you. Um, let's let's break your armor, your your ward there. So with the selections at the bottom left of the abilities, that these are our spells. So we start off with two spells: move left and move right. And I also leveled up and gained Hail of Teeth. These are the abilities for each creature. These are the stats for ourselves and the stats for our opponents. And we can also just mouse over and see what they got. We can also just right click and get an overview. Um, you can't see their abilities in the fight, though you can see them once you've encountered them yet. Uh, can you eat elites? Oh, sorry, I totally I totally missed that. Um, they do not count as bosses. Bosses are only at the end of the floor. Uh, we're just going to go for a basic attack here. With the critical hit? Nah, okay, that's fine. 
Your bodies will lie silent amid the snow. Indeed. I'm going to use this Call of Winter on you. Dragging him forward. He takes 30% more damage now. I think we're going to be able to kill this guy before he goes again. Potentially even just killing him with the spell if we need to. Taskmaster, yeah, you can now just go. You're actually buffed, and it's a kill. Oh, 50 damage! Damn! That's a lot. Um, Ice Spear? No, Cole, call Winter on the Elite. Second half of your question uh, is for moving cars, characters. Yes. Was that the second half of your question? Move left and move right. Yes. This we can. So, like, if I need to, I can just spend a little bit of mana and just move people around. Um, you guys don't have any armor. I haven't really encountered much people with any armor. I think uh, you have you have been hit. Let's just go. With the critical hit, restoring a bunch of health. This team is... Oh, we have to. <laughs> oh, but the, the ultimate. The ultimate for her is lunch break. And she just gobbles them up. Giving herself a pretty significant buff. And then she can heal herself if she uh, digests them. Losing current percentage of their vigor. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It's a lot. Let's see what on you. 30% of your vigor. We also lost some, but that's fine. It's pretty solid damage. Hey, thanks a lot for the subscription. Hey, my maker's body's coming through. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I think, yeah, just, just keep wailing on this guy. Can't just do a magic attack here. Honestly, I mean, the 30% extra damage. Are there werewolves in the game? There are not. There are no werewolves in the game. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't have any... I need to have a hype... I need to have the hype situation. Hold on. What should hype do? What should hype be? What is hype? Let's distill this now into the essence of hype. What is... Hype. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up is, uh, is, is the thing here. Uh... There we go. Super, super old memes. Let's try it. Let's try that one again. Try that one again. Super, super old memes. Give me an exclamation point hype. <laughs> super, super old meme right there. Um, yeah, we could just... Go for a normal attack here. Yeah, just just pop on back. As worthless as do you guys do you guys know the? It didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. It did work, but only once. I don't know the I don't know the inner deep workings of of Streambot, Streamlabs, uh, Chatbot here. I don't I don't know the inner workings necessarily. Um, aim for the heart. Go for the heal. Oh, he's got the block. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, you might as well just get that up and heal. Yeah, there it is. Do you guys know that meme? It's like... It's probably the oldest one that I know. If I'm gonna be... If I'm gonna be truthful here. It's probably the oldest one that I, I'm aware of. It's from... The movie... Starring Sean Connery... And Will Smith. I mean, I think I'm just gonna heal her. You can digest your food. That's fine. Uh, oh, that doesn't take your turn. Oh, really? I'm just gonna be wait. Get a stun? A crit? Yeah. Okay. Um, I could just game it and top it off now. I'll just get the kill. Um, called the movie's called Bagger: The Legend of Bagger Vance. Mine I've never movies. seen it. But there was a website. I don't know how this meme came. Just Sean Connery goes, You're the man now, dog. There's a website that played it on repeat forever. Before YouTube existed. Holy shit. 
Now that would just be a YouTube video that was like um, eight hours of, of your of Bagger Vance or whatever. We got an item. Reduces damage received from elite enemies by 20%. Alright. Alright. I like. Skeleton did not need to heal, but uh, he did. Good experience. Lots of levels on my peeps here. You've leveled up. I think I want to go for the more damage. Can we get it to be even higher? 40% more damage. I do like accuracy. What does this do? 60%. 60%? Two turns. Removes all buffs from the target. You don't say. I don't know the movie or the meme and you're really old. What can I say? I, I there was There was a time when I was connected to meme culture. I really feel kind of out of it a bit. I lasted way longer than Connor's Russian accent in Hunt for Red October. You know... <laughs> I fucking love that movie though. Like, really. I haven't seen it in a very long time, and now I'm gonna make my wife watch it. Um, which, hey, but by the way, is she home? She should join the stream if she's here. Boost my stats a little bit. Um, it's a, it's a question. 10% more damage or the utility? We got to go with the utility. There's also this, right? Freeze minions for three turns and negate the damage or. I mean, this is just better. Why would I want more turns of freezing? I guess it just negates more damage. I think we're gonna go for remove all buffs. I like the utility. It still moves them, but now we can I also remove buffs. Results. It's good. Increase damage to elite enemies. Hmm. And you for stats. You got pretty low health. You have pretty low health. We can start boosting your evasion, but not significantly. Maybe a little bit of armor might be in order. Or more damage? I'm kind of digging the damage, if I'm going to be honest here. Unfrozen regenerates. I don't know what you mean. Because of this, we can't use it on himself. And he doesn't... If the initiative of the Unfrozen is higher than that of the target, deals additional 5% damage for each point of... What? Okay. Well, I now kind of get the initiative... Initiative thing. Makes people lose initiative. Yeah, cool. Alright, I have not really paid attention to that. We do have increased damage dealt to elite enemies by 20%. The question is, who do we want that to be? Is it you? Kind of feels like it's you. I might give you the reduced damage. Because you're quite... I mean, you do have the two blocks in the ward. But I'd be scared for you getting hurt. And you can just get the increased damage there. Or the, the vampire. You just deal so much damage. <laughs> you can have it. Fine. You can have it. The unfrozen cannot regenerate itself. It can regenerate everybody else. That's the thing. That's the one thing. Um, you have also leveled up. So the, I just got to say, the changes that they have made since I last played it fantastic before the items were kind of meh those items are permanent on the minion um they used to be permanent it seems like they're permanent i cannot take it out they are permanent also you can upgrade your minions by these this is how you make them so you you, you create new minions by combining parts to make an unfrozen i would need an ectoplasm or rags an armor and a dust of course, I can put in leveled up stuff. So this is uh, this is uncommon, this is rare, and then there's legendary or something, I want to say. Um, and uh, you can make them stronger, just giving them additional stat points, basically. Which is uh, pretty cool. Before, in the past, this would just say, like, plus four initiative, or plus six attack. 
it, it, they didn't have the stat point situation at all, which honestly I I really like I really like the change. So the changes that they made to the game, big ups, big ups. What do you have? What are you sitting on? You're sitting on some points there. That's fine. Uh, the ghoul. Did I spend all of you? You have two left. I mean, the crit chance is the way to go for you because you you gain health when you crit and you stun when you crit. So that's a no-brainer. And you, we just don't have enough to really spend on anything that I would consider. That's pretty good return on investment. Evasion is always nice. Okay. Okay, I'm sold. So you can make them good during summoning, but not when they're already there. No, you can you can always overwrite. So if I wanted to add this six additional points to my uh, to my to this guy, I just would click and drag it and place it on top. And then you can you can upgrade them that way. The reason I'm not is because you can combine these over here. Nope, over here. I don't remember which it is. Transmutation. So if I wanted to, is that right? Conve convert three parts of any type to a different part. Ooh, did they change it? <gasps> they did change it. Convert three parts of same type and rarity to new item. So you can only make items. You can't actually level them up anymore. That's new for me. That is new for me. Which means it might just be worth throwing these rags onto somebody right now. The question would be who? Who? I've already buffed up this team quite a bit. But I'm going to go for it again. You can have more stats. Boop. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Um, your accuracy is suitable. It's fine. Your health is quite low. Got six points. I think health, health and damage. Ah, oh, I should have gone for initiative. I should have gone for initiative. Anybody using bones here? No. Um, I do have these artifacts now. More additional parts. A, a non-consumable artifact. I think I want. A non-consumable artifact next. Finds its way into my capable hands. Disintegrate artifacts, but why? But why? Why would I do that? Not sure. Um, all right. I mean, I think we're ready. We have like a solid team here. Oh, I can just. All right, zombie. Where does the damage bonus from initiative come from? So that is only in unfrozen. All of them are most of uh, most of the different types of monsters or whatever you want to call them um, have a unique bonus. And this guy, the unfrozen, he's kind of a lot of his attacks reduce initiative, and his inherent ability is if he is faster than the other person, then he will deal more damage. Which is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, I think I'm gonna put a zombie in here. Good night, zombie. Bunch of parts. We've gained a void flame. Shade only. The shade restores 25% of its attacks as vigor, mana, and wrath. What? And a bundle of dynamite. At the beginning of combat, all enemies lose vigor. That's amazing. Um, obviously, the shade will get the shade specific he's now completely decked out okay <laughs> very good fair enough um this team here like i mean you know i have these two teams set up and i'll, I'll show you now dr zap reloaded it's just a feature this guy has a feature too enemies that successfully attack the enemy lose 10 luck forever and luck is interesting so yeah bonus luck is crit chance negative luck is negative crit chance so if you can reduce people's luck a lot, you can just start critting on them all the time. Uh, and like I was saying, like this is our team, but we're not set. We're not set on it, right? I do like the Black Widow, and I think I want to try and use her a little bit more. And again, against certain enemies, like what do we have next here? Oh, it's the some new people. We got ourselves an executioner. We got ourselves uh, some guy with the 
I think the lantern and the pickaxe. I don't know the lady. I don't know the lady. Uh, and the guy in the back is the mad preacher. I don't actually remember exactly what he does. But I expect him to be annoying. And uh, I think we're going to just try and kill him. We're just going to try and kill him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my vampire here. For the Black Widow. Random attack. Yeah, okay. Losing armor. I don't know if we fight people with uh, with a lot of armor. But also having them deal less damage is going to be pretty nice. Let's, let's do it. Boop. Yeah, you know, they're getting they're getting stronger as well as we're getting further on, right? So we've only seen the lower tier enemies from the first zone. We have to get all the way up to here until we leave. You can see there, this is uh that's the boss. But even up here, we can't really see much. But we're gonna start fighting more more high tiered enemies, like there's an elite and just a normal fight, for example. And then there's we're in the mines, there's dwarf tunnels, there's mercenary barracks, there's catacombs, there's cathedral. I and anybody else has only ever played up to the mercenary barracks. This is new and this is new. And then after that we beat the game, so we'll have to see. I think I like this. I might I might still experiment. The Dark Knight, I was just never that excited by. I think I'm gonna let's let's pop the lich in here. Let's pop the lich in here. All right, I'll give this guy a try. I've, I'm never that excited by them. And honestly, because he's only level one and we don't have a brain to level him up, I don't think I'm going to even use him. I don't think I'm going to even use him. We'll go with the Bone Golem. Try a, a different team. In fact, we can just make this its own team, can't we? We now have three teams. Did you see the news from Gordon Quest? Chapter 2 comes July. Uh, oh, I did not see the news. That's pretty exciting. We're still working on Chapter 1. Um, getting close to the end. I, it's a really good game. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, we, are, we have three teams-ish. And the beginnings of another one? These two do play well together. We would have to think about what we would need to want to actually fill this in. Voice is scrambled. My voice is scrambled? I don't know why. I don't know why that would be. Could there be a problem? Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> if I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, frames detected. Yeah, okay, we, we, we skipped a couple of frames a little bit ago. Sound good, mic not. What has happened to the mic? Microphone, blue snowball. Uh, no, don't exit. Hmm. Curious. Still bad. I like. I, I'm kind of at a loss here as to as to what I can even do to fix this. Um, let me pop into Stream Manager. Check out that health. Um, let me pop into. Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. The on the in-game sound is off because I'm not I'm not on it. If I if I leave uh, the window, then it, then I lose the sound. It sounded fine to me. I think we're just gonna go. Also, I don't know what to do. We have another team. We have a third team here. We're gonna see how it plays out. You, I let me see. I might want to swap the Black Widow. You do like to be in the front, but you don't care about the very front. He likes to be in the very front. All right, brand new team. Um, additional stat points. Ah, ooh, oh. We do have the skeleton still. Let's not forget the skelly boy. He's quite good. Do we go with the bone giant or do we go with the, the bone golem? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I 
Oh, I'm here, that's why. Could level you up. Do we go with the bone golem or do we go with the skeleton here? And we don't have like active healing on this team. Which honestly kind of makes me think if I would want to swap out the vampire. Because the vampire can heal himself. All of these guys can heal themselves. And you've got the unfrozen. This makes more sense to me. You guys can all heal yourself. Now the unfrozen can help heal you. Actually, the bone golem can heal himself. As well. Let's try this. I think... This makes a little bit more sense. Alright. Alright. We have a little bit... We don't really have a lot of... Uh... Oh, okay. She gets to attack... Or she just attacked. All allies gain plus one attack until the battle ends each time the Ataman receives damage. While the Doomsayer is alive, his allies receive minus 100% chance to escape and minus 40% chance to go insane. Shouldn't he make people more likely to go insane? He's a Doomsayer. He is saying doom. That's just what I'm thinking here. Um, right. We need to get through your ward ASAP. So, we're just going to work on your ward. Toxic Cloud? And the ward is gone? The ward is gone. Perfect. Breathe, mortal! And now we can start beating on you. Um, I might want you to just lose accuracy. Hmm. Spell removes ward, yes. Magic, damage, and spells remove ward. Um, and physical attacks. And physical, okay. Yes, magic reduces ward. Physical things take off block. That's that's what I'm trying to say here. Um, interrupt stances is very nice. I think we're just going to go for more damage here. And just try and take you down. You are the scariest one here. You've missed. You've hit once. That's okay. You have marked him. Every attack against him is a critical hit. That's pretty scary. I must admit. Um, removes all buffs and the target just receives more damage. Because I, I kind of just want to kill... This guy as soon as possible. We're just going to go all in on him. Um, and I think we're just going to... Prevent movement. Make him deal less damage. Luck and evasion? What is your luck? You will have zero luck now. <laughs> Just like kicked him in the belly. Okay, our wards are almost... He still has another one. That's quite nice. Um, the question is, I might as well swap you around and then have you go into there and take a giant crap load of sanity damage. You have marked him with what? You have marked her. Lots of markings going on. 25% more damage, receives 250% more damage from Headsman's attack. Headsman's attack. Jesus. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. Um, we can just do the random attack here, maybe? Rain of fire. It's pretty funny. Um, just <laughs> deal damage to everyone. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I think we just go for the random attack. We can get rid of wards and stuff like that. Yep, every attack against him is a crit. But now we're healed because our our um because of the ability that we have uh that we bought or that we leveled up into. We are over 75 wrath, we now gain. Ooh. That's pretty good. I will take it. 25% chance to stun. It's physical damage, so it didn't actually do much there. Um, you can prevent people from moving. We're no longer healing. Could go into a cocoon. I think we're just gonna... Make you deal less damage. The headsman, if he decides to attack her, is going to wreck her. 
I realize that now. Um, get block. Beautiful. So now the Hesman will attack. And it's been blocked. He probably would have one-shot her had I not done that. Um, we can... Yeah, let's just keep stacking... The Silken Pull. Keep doing the Silken Pull on you. Um, and I think just random... Okay, her ward is gone. That's fine. Right, wait. The spell removes ward, by the way. Dr. Zap reloaded. It just, it hits anyone. It's a random attack, and whoever it hits... Um, I really want to just kill you. We don't have that much damage on this team. That's the thing. Alright, just random damage. Because it's a lot, we'll, I'm quite happy to do it. We do feel like we're lacking some damage. That's a lot. That's one way to deal damage, though. Everybody healed for some reason? I'm not really sure why. Um, Alright, next target is you. 30% extra damage. You have marked him. Lots of crits. Fair. I don't mind that much. You got a lot of utility. Maybe she also belongs in the other group. Right? This group needs more damage, and the other group could probably use a little bit more utility. I mean, he is also just straight damage, basically. I don't want to deal random damage. We'll just debuff you. And, yeah, okay, you do take two vigor. Um, okay. The miss is unfortunate. That actually did a lot of damage. I was not exactly expecting that much. Here, take... Have a lot more attack. How about that? We could probably use him to just generate more attack this way. You can also reconstruct, can't you? Recover some vigor. Why don't you just kill him? Become part of the breathless tide. Indeed. The end is coming. What is that? The beginning of the next turn deals 20 damage to all other characters. Well, fortunately, I can just break that stance. And I will just do it. Stance broken. And now, random damage to everyone will be fine. Yeah, definitely missing some damage. You're just taking a lot of hits here. Um, yeah, sure. Move forward. A little bit of health. Honestly. We'll just have you do that. He's going to try and do the end is coming once again. And honestly, uh, we can just drag him forward. Actually, we can just attack... Send the rats out. Absorbed by the block. Removes all buffs. You're also buffed, yeah. Hey, Blood Dragon? Yes! Very excited. The game just released. Full release today. And I was like, I, I, I took the opportunity. Oh, I didn't. Uh... Oh, because the end is coming. Makes it so that you he gains a bunch of warden stuff? Well, let's make it so we can kill him. Get rid of his two blocks with our spell. Um, I just kind of want, uh... Yeah, the silken pull. Solid damage from her. We're just gonna heal him again. I expect this guy to doomsay again. I'm kind of tempted to just rain a fire here. <laughs> Oh, great. You crit. You crit on us. How great. And uh, they all have wards and stuff, so... That's just fantastic. And now my spider is burning. You are going to do the end is coming. You do gain the wards. You took a lot of damage from the crit. 
Um, I think it's best just to kill. Just kill this guy. Become part of the breathless tide. I really want you to not do your thing. Let's smack you down. This team took a lot of damage. It's because we just don't have the finishing power. And honestly, we actually can't do anything to you. Let's put it up. Right, it's kind of nice that uh, yeah, it, it the freezing thing makes her no longer take damage. Um, you're gonna try and run, which means we just need to try and kill you. Thirty-three to thirty-six. I think it's better if we just deal a percentage increase of damage here. As long as we don't miss, we should get the kill. Indeed, we did. Soon this world yeah, took some hits. We got a hook. Whenever an enemy moves, they receive physical damage and stress damage. Nice. As well as some dust. And a brain. Got big brains. Boiling blood for each unfilled squad slot. The minion receives a lot of bonuses. Wow. Unfilled squad slot. I have a crazy idea. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know if this is this is pro almost certainly a terrible idea. Okay, this this team, no. I think it needs more damage. And maybe something like splitting you guys up like that. Now the vampire's there. Vampire has that extra damage. Enemy our own squad. What are we talking about? Um, the Lich. So Lich... Uh, this guy, right? We have this new item. For each unfilled squad slot. It's our own squad. Is it? Something that I use? No. How? Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Because what this guy can actually do is he can summon skeletons. So we can just go in there basically on his own. It's it's not very good. <laughs> basically if you're if you're dying. But I think it's only going to the Lich because you could maybe send him in as like a suicide squad. Okay. I think uh, having this is a little bit more balanced. These guys are damage. She's utility. He's utility. Utility and damage. Utility and damage. Basically damage and kind of utility and damage. Okay. I think, I think that'll be a little bit better. We do have some level ups here. Um, it's a lot of stress damage. They lose all armor and resistance. An enemy poisoned by the cloud has 3% chance to die immediately. I like not. I like removing that. He can, can he also self-heal? He does something by sacrificing. He heals everyone. I've been watching Gordian Quest like this in Darkest Dungeon. It's not really your thing. Hey, man, you know, to each their own. That's why I, I like to keep... A, I got a variety of things going on. You know, we play, uh, like, Star Sector. Usually what I like to do, my general kind of rule for YouTube, you know, I have two series going at all times. We've got... We've got um, the one uh, long form, and we've got one that's a little bit shorter. So I'll do Magiel as my short one because I always die in, in like within 20 episodes. Um, Gordian Quest is also a shorter one. It's one act. It's going to end fairly soon. Um, Erratus, I don't know where it would actually fit into. But Star Sector, for example. Star Sector, I know when I play that, I'm going to have over 60 episodes. Right? If I ever do uh, Crusader Kings again, or rather when I do Crusader Kings again, or any kind of 4X game, um, except Master of Orion, because that's a very short game, but um, any game where I know, where I know it's going to be over 50, 
and even up to 200, right? I've got two series that go over 200. Crusader Kings, the first thing I ever did as Man the Maker. Um, and uh, what is it? Caveman to Cosmos, Civilization 4 mod. And I like to I like to try and keep that balanced. Um, Bone Golem level up. I like it that he can heal. One block and one ward is nice. Losing less vigor is also nice. The thing is, like, this is not a straight upgrade. This is a straight upgrade. It's tough. Healing more is good. And I think we're gonna go for the healing more. Get back to battle. It's like watching itching builds them out of the platform. No doubt. I'll get better at tome. We'll <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You need accuracy, my god, man, you need accuracy. That's 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 done. Um, you, my friend, have what? You got a lot of health, don't you? You're quite quick. More damage, probably. And your abilities. Um, deals less damage. Ignores all block and ward and is a move option. 40% less damage for two turns. And ignores ward? Yeah, it already does that. Target loses all block and ward. That's kind of crazy. Whereas 40% less damage for two turns is also freaking crazy. Forty percent less damage. For a nasty surprise. Also, we can build something now, and I think it's going to be the arena. Uh, which means oh, I can put you in here. Okay, and now I can build a new skeleton. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. And now we can gain some free uh, XP. While this place is for people to be a training ground for my minions the nice themselves um this guy needs to heal though entertaining time waster and you actually fill more or less the same role i think wouldn't mind seeing more ck2 players most players are currently holding off for ck3 honestly so am i <laughs> i thought about maybe doing like a, a shorter so the if you're not aware the the first ck2 playthrough i did was a role-playing playthrough where you know we whatever character we end up with we try and embody their traits in our decision making as, as to the best of our abilities and with a little bit of leeway in there to kind of um decide you know to make our own choices somewhat um but really really trying to like okay this character is like not being ambitious means you're not going to go conquering like everything um, unless maybe if you're like a holy warrior or something or you're zealous and you're neighboring somebody or there's a crusade or something um, so I, it was really it was so much fun I really want to do it again but the problem is the sequel's on the horizon if I make the series you know people aren't going to be really be watching CK2 that much anymore so I gotta like kind of be aware of that but maybe I can do like a, a like kind of a problem is this role-playing thing lends itself better to rolling multiple characters so I feel a bit stuck there a bit stuck all right we got we got our teams a little bit more dynamic though let's go see let's go see what we got um oh we can we can level somebody up i think we're gonna take them in with us so who is the lowest level where the liches I, mean, I think I'm going to have a Lost Soul. Let's, let's get the Lost Soul to level up. Zombies, I just don't like them. Don't like them. Never going to use them. Straight up. Experience. Experience for me, please. And then an Elite after that. Ooh. Experience for me. Which means I can now get a higher chance of receiving artifacts. Or uncommon or better parts. Yeah. Goes from 25 to 50. I think I'll just go for the artifacts here. Um, let's see. We can just gain more parts, but make our enemy stronger. Probably not a great thing to do. 
when we're about to fight um, some scary looking dudes. I don't know who the king looking guy is. I don't know who the, the mouthless uh, individual is. We know the golem. He's tough. He's beefy. He's got low accuracy. We want to be able to remove debuffs with this. So, um, Also, we can't take this team in. Can't do it. I think we got to take this team in. All right, we'll swap that out. Um, you guys can remove debuffs, can't you? If you can't, that's a problem. We can move, we can change stances, but we can uh, not... Remove debuffs. You can, however. I don't really like the lich here. All right. Looks like we're just not going to stick. Yeah, but the mummy, the problem is, is he, um, he just doesn't do enough physical damage. He just doesn't do enough physical damage. And he does not remove buffs from opponents, apparently. Maybe if you level him up. Okay. I might use the dynamite. This is the last elite. We can just go in there. Ignores war dealing a bunch of damage right off the bat. It's also nice to save it for the boss, but nah, let's use it. Now I will make mortals yes. tremble. More than before. Okay, there's the team. Even more. I think I'm going to swap these guys around. Because one thing that we haven't used the vampire for this yet. We've really got two awesome things. One, we can gain 30 wrath. Lose 10 vigor, gain 30 wrath. It's fantastic. Also, Auspex is super good. You just ignore block and ward for the rest of the fight. It's it's really, it's incredible. Super, super good to use. Um, and the unfrozen moves all buffs. Does not... Ignore ward, though, does it? But the vampire can make that happen. Okay. Let's do it. Right, as we're getting further in, we're able to, like, be more tactical and strategic in our thinking here. Elite Taskmaster with no mouth. This guy, he's a mage. Okay. Damn, you just wrecked your own dude like crazy. Like crazy. Um, Thirty-five. I'm just gonna have to say, hey, attack my skeleton. Zero damage, completely absorbed. That's what I'm talking about. Um, they actually don't have any uh, ward or anything like that. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna open up and just gain a bunch of wrath. Bringing this up to 60, we need only 15 more until we start healing 5, which is really nice. Um, you... I mean, this guy is almost dead too. How did he die so quickly? Because he just takes a lot of magic damage. And that's a decent amount of magic damage. Yeah, you take a lot. Yeah, we don't get the buff. You do get... I mean, just stress attacks and ignition. Huh. Ignores armor and block. Masterful thrust. Oh no, armor and block, not... Armor and block! You get wrecked! You get wrecked! <laughs> that, went, that went so well! You just drove your own guy insane. He's panicking. That's beautiful. Um, you can do blood strike now, but I, I kind of... I want you to just move forward and start doing some damage. No critical strike, which is unfortunate. You're going to attack him in the back, but the ward will block it. This fight was easy. 
Uh, and now you can just get up to the front, I think. Behold my birthright. We are healing. He's all armor, all resistances. I don't think it matters. I think we just... I think we just go for attacks here. Just normal basic attacks. And just watch people get wrecked. Yeah, 100% damage. Easy. Should have probably killed him. Oh, he skipped his turn anyways. Well... Oh, you had a buff. I could have... Mm, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> it does not. Nothing fancy about your strikes. We'll just do a blood strike. <laughs> Back it up. And just kill you off. With a little ice spike action. Not quite. Alright. That was incredibly easy. A level 5 brain right now. That's nice. Another dynamite as well. 14 digger souls. Bone golems healed up. Lost soul has gained experience. Very nice. That dynamite was... Yeah. It's, what, a, what a start to a fight. You've got some new stats. I think we're going to just put it into the initiative there. That's all for you. You, if we can get the crit, we will get the crit. Indeed. I think we're happy with that. Damp here, if we can get the crit. Yeah, we can't. Hmm. Hmm. Evasion is quite nice on you, I think. But we'll probably just wait for the crit. That team performed admirably. Just admirably. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Um, the Lich! I'm not crazy about the Lich. I feel like he just doesn't do enough for me. I feel like he just doesn't do enough for me. I mean, we can just have her and... Uh, that's the shade. That's what I'm thinking about. We also have a lot of uh, a lot of souls here. We can probably level up something. <sighs> I mean, honestly, I never thought I would do it, but getting some more digger souls seems pretty good to me. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my putrefied gut? Right, this is kind of what is locking us out of getting more buildings. We have the parts, we just need digger souls. Is there a way to start with enough wrath to summon turn one? Uh, how much does it cost? It costs 65. You can make it cheaper, I believe. You can make it 50. 15, 30, 45. Yes, you can. If you get this maxed out, you can summon a skeleton on the first turn. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, though. Because you don't keep the skeleton. And if you're doing this, then you're not leveling up one good. Unless the XP is actually split up between everyone. I don't actually know how that works. Um, you can stay in there. Let's do that. Um, you know what though? I actually might want to uh, to go a fight with this guy. So you can stay in there. Um, we're definitely going to take the gambling chip with us. Embellishes my undead and we're going to continue on. We got one skill point. It's not enough probably for anything that I want. Cultists. Ancient coffin filled with items. I've never seen the cultists. Mortal cultists who gift around us the random consumables or minion specific items. Or an ancient coffer filled with items. I think I would rather a mythical chest containing artifacts though. Let's go this way. Get a bunch of items. Select a boon. 50% of the damage is Vigor is nice. Unfilled squad slot. Min's attacks were Storm Mana. Yeah, we're just going to take the Vampire Fangs. Collecting. 
Did I give them to you already? Yes, I did. And I might... I might give them to you. You can actually deal a lot of damage. Potentially. We can also boost someone up to level 5 right now. The mummy. It's the biggest jump. Sorry, I'm, I'm sold. Welcome to level 5 there, friend. I'll put a point into the initiative because it's terrible. And then the rest into dread. And you've got an ability here. I really do like... Which one? Hexbeam? Additional damage? Or just straight up more damage? It's not. It's not a lot. It's not a whole lot. I think we'll do this. 75% to two people. 75% to two people and ignores ward. But doesn't push people around anymore. I think I'd rather push people around. Four turns dealing a bunch of damage. Or two turns. Yeah, four four turns that's that's crazy that is crazy Serve we'll take it me well my minion and uh okay skeleton you've leveled up oh you have this gives you more armor gains five armor and five resistance as the battle ends or four and four and the ally gains attack and dread Whew. that's freaking awesome that is freaking awesome Strikes back when attacked, dealing stress damage. Nah. Bony bully? Stuns target? Or interrupt stances? Yeah, yeah. Stunning is better than interrupting a stance. Attacks twice, dealing more damage. 4% chance of immediately... I think we're just going to go with this one. I, I really do like that. Until the battle ends. It's pretty strong. But we're not even going to use that guy. No, we're not. We're going to go with this group. And uh, we'll see how we do. Stress team, I bring misfortune upon your lands. Oh. Yeah, whenever you move, you just take damage because we have this claw thing. And you, we haven't been able to use this yet. Crescendo. Deals eight damage to everyone. All enemies lose eight attack for their next action. 8 attack is substantial. Yeah. That would have done 8 more damage. That would have done 8 more damage. Oh, you, you're you the guy that I want to kill. Um, don't need to worry about the stance. Just buff yourself once real quick. It gives so much. It really gives so much. And of course, you, the ghostly inferno. Right? Yes. Just start putting it on him. Just start putting it on him. And we're gonna start stacking it on you. This guy, like, <laughs> it's just this old demolition guy. He has, he's just had a tough time, hasn't he? Yeah. Reduce all our attack. Nice a crit. You're inspired. Okay. More accuracy, evasion, and attack. You're in panic. That's good. I'm just going to stack another one of these on you. And then that's probably enough. I just want him to die as soon as possible. Like, I really want to die. Ow. Um, I think... Will that, uh... Right, let's, let's break your, your shield. And then, let's just say... Get away from him. Get away from him. Why do I think that had a different name? Well. Yeah. Good, Rex. Okay, you just decided to do... <laughs> Sacrifice. Increase damage up by 50%. Okay. Noted. That is something. <laughs> that is something. We'll just do Ghostly Inferno, of course. Take off one of her wards. That's 
pretty scary. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop that on. You take a lot of damage. Why? Oh, because you got this. Some of each turn, lose 40% of its maximum vigor and receive an extra action. Um, that just deals a crap load of stress damage, doesn't it? Well, we are healing right now. This should deal a lot. Oh, you're insane. What do you got? Berserk. Oh, that's bad. You can... You are going to murder somebody. You have two sacrifice and your berserk. You are... Oh, we're moving off from target. Oh, no, the ward! <laughs> Shit. Uh, skip your turn, please. Okay. There's a good chance that she's just going to absolutely annihilate somebody. <sighs> Thank God. Something removed all buffs. Oh, man. Honestly, that was pretty... Like, if she hit somebody, there's a good chance that she would have just straight up killed them. What is your evasion? 16% evasion? That's that's just sad. I'll just do this one. That's fine. We will just start stacking the dire curse, and eventually she will go down. A sad eventually she will go down. Ooh, items, be. essence of mind. The minions' attacks restore fifty percent of the damage dealt as mana. Bull skull. If the minions start their turns in position one or two, they receive plus five vigor until the end of battle. Awesome. Lots of items. So many items. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. More, more of these things. Lots of stuff. Great. Great, great, great. Let's go ahead and level ourselves up. Um, you? I just want crit. Evasion is also quite nice. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for that. You don't really have the choice there. We'll take that, and we'll take one more. Evasion? Oh, I, I thought that was initiative. I wouldn't have done it. The Banshee. Banshee, Banshee, Banshee. More health would be nice. You're very low. We'll also have you wait for it. Also, I didn't level you up. Because we're saving your stats for something? No, you can afford everything here. I don't think I want the crit. I'll just take some more armor. Just get beefy. You're my beefy boy. And 